from getting knocked out while trying to hit the opposing player to a debut win being overshadowed by an accountant. Here are seven times NHL debut games went wrong. John Ludwig was supposed to be enjoying his first game in the NHL, but instead he found himself laying flat down, face down at center ice. Early in the second, Ludwig stepped up to hit Faxa and down to the ice he went. But the problem was that Faxa was not the guy laying on the ice. But for Ludwig, oh man, you could even see his right foot shaking when the cameraman zoomed in on him laying down just awkwardly. Now thankfully for John Ludwig, he had teammates. And he was a team player, he had an entire support group around him. And Raquel immediately took a knee next to him while Pedersen helped the trainer across the ice. He stayed down for a bit before needing assistance to get back to his feet. He was visibly wobbly when he was being helped off the ice. Alright, now for this next injury. This isn't about a player in his debut game that gets injured. Rather, it was the opponent. Roman Yossi was playing with the Nashville Predators and they were losing 4-1 with just a few minutes left to spare. And the Red Wings were killing off a penalty when Yossi received a pass from his teammate and wound up taking a slapper. Red Wings Patrick Eves dropped down to one knee in anticipation of blocking the puck. But sadly, the puck went straight to the side of his head and down he went on his back. Eves could even be seen withering in pain as the trainer rushed to his side. Unfortunately, he even had to be taken off the ice in a stretcher and Yossi made sure to give him a nice tap on the shoulder as an apology for the injury. And Eves was sidelined the rest of the season. Now, hopefully this next one cheers it up a little. Getting a Hattie in your NHL debut game is not only rare, but it's entertaining to watch. But unfortunately for this next player, the Hattie wasn't for scoring three goals. Matt Barzell made his NHL debut on October 15th, 2016 against the Caps. Three minutes into the game, Barzell was penalized for slashing Kuznetsov and to the box he went. The Islanders successfully killed the penalty and when it was time for him to exit, the unthinkable happened. See. The Capitals tried to complete a pass in the neutral zone and they were unsuccessful. The puck bounced off the stick of the Capitals player and went straight towards the penalty box just as Barzell was about to exit. While still standing in the penalty box, Barzell passed the puck to his defenseman. The ref blew the play dead and Barzell looked confused and dazed as to why he was being penalized. And this poor guy had to take the skate of shame right back to the sin bin. Now this third penalty he received in the third period, when he tripped Alsner, completed the hat-trick of penalties in his first NHL game. The Islanders went on to lose 2-1, and I'm pretty sure that Barzell was heckled for his lackluster debut. Alright, alright, I know you guys were just waiting for this one, this is probably the reason why you clicked on the video. Now, speaking of hat-tricks, how about we talk about Austin Matthews' unforgettable debut? He had a spectacular game. All of his work was basically for nothing though because the Maple Leafs lost in overtime 5-4. Matthews knew he was going to have to carry the Maple Leafs for his entire career right from the get-go. In his very first game, this is exactly what he did. In one of his first shifts, Matthews received the puck from his teammate and hammered one home. But he was just feeling it that day because 5 minutes later he scored his second and had the Maple Leafs tied with the Sens. By the way, I'm still struggling to understand how they were even losing to the Sens in the first place. I mean, I remember now. It's the Toronto Maple Leafs, of course! But no, Austin Matthews was absolutely feeling it, and he scored his third goal, not even two minutes into the second. But somehow, the Senators managed to keep him off the scoreboard after his hat-trick until the dying seconds of the second period. And this time, he scored on a two-on-one. The Senators managed to shut him down in the third though and crushed his spectacular performance by scoring the winning goal in overtime. How fitting for the Maple Leafs. But I have to admit something. Even though the Leafs still lost in overtime and disappointed the fans, which was predictable, Austin Matthews was so unpredictable that he excited the fans. And unpredictable in a good way. Just look at his shot. But Austin Matthews is now the only player in NHL history and might be the only player ever to score four goals in his debut game. Now, we're talking about the goaltenders. Getting a shutout during your debut game like Troy Groznak is every goalie's dream. But imagine, 
your debut game. Your team is winning and all you have to do is secure the last few seconds on the clock. But then you remember, your name is Colin Delia and you need to get helped off the ice by a stretcher because you're injured. Hold on, cause that's not even the worst part. Your team's backup goalie is just an average Joe who is lucky to earn a one day contract to the team's emergency backup room. And boy, that's right, cause Colin Delia's debut game was overshadowed by an accountant. The Blackhawks were playing the Jets and Delia was on fire as he made 24 out of 26 saves. Delia made his 25th save of the game on what appeared to be a routine looking save, though he ended up on his hands and knees and had to be helped off the ice. No one even would have thought twice about the replacement had it been Crawford or Forsberg. Instead, enter in a 36 year old emergency backup goalie, Scott Foster, who was an accountant by day. The fans went crazy as he touched the ice and warmed up the crease. Foster's debut saw him making 7 saves and earning the first star of the game. The next day, the headlines were all over Foster and Delia had to take a back seat despite earning the win in his debut game. Talk about unlucky timing for Delia who still hasn't cracked an NHL roster to even be a reliable backup. Now we're going back to old school hockey as we saw players being drafted to teams only to become enforcers and nothing else. They were selected, not because they were top tier playmakers or elite snipers, but because they could instill fear in the opponents by crushing their skulls in and hammering holes into their chests. Or, in other words, their sole purpose was wrecking havoc on the ice. Now, making your NHL debut has to be one of the most stressful moments ever. Now, imagine making your debut and you decide to drop the gloves. Nothing wrong with this at all. We've seen it time and time again. It gets the crowd pumped and the teammates pleased, especially if it's a rookie stepping up and showing and proving that they want to be a part of the roster. Trevor Gillies, on the other hand, made one of the biggest rookie mistakes of all time when it comes to picking an opponent to fight. My man decided to square up with none other than Derek Bugard. The Derek Bugard who won the hearts of fans for his tenacity and his off-ice demeanor. Gillies stood no chance against Bugard and ended up on his back and Bugard scored the TKO. Gillies debut game was over before he knew it with 21 minutes of penalties and a nice highlight video of the fight that Bugard fans watched forever. Gillies would still have to wait 4 more years to get another chance at playing in the NHL. Talk about wanting a redo for a debut game. We will include one more goaltender in this list because it could have been its own video based on the lackluster debut performance. Ron Laustel will go down in history and quite honestly should be the only goaltender ever unless you're in Timbits to let in 10 goals in a debut game. The Jets were severely struggling if you couldn't tell with goalies that season and Laustel was called up from the Western Hockey League at the age of 18 to play against the best of the best. But what is wrong with a coach like that? Why would you be hanging out your 18 year old rookie goaltender to dry just like that? The poor guy let in 10 goals and 51 shots against the Canucks and the backup at the time just sat on the bench and watched it all. But because of this, Ron Laustel never played another game in the NHL. For some reason, this debut game reminds me very much of Patrick Waugh and what happened with him, but that's for another video.